Hi, welcome to Chris Jenkins Golf Academy here at Crowlands Golf Centre in Essex. Today we're going to talk about the lob shot and we've all found ourselves in this position on the golf course. We've hit the wrong side of the bunker, the flag is tight the other side so we haven't got much room to, to land the ball and to stop it and we've got to try and get the ball up quickly and so it doesn't roll out too far when it hits, hits the other side of the bunker. Obviously we have the other option, if we're not, not too keen on this shot we can try and hit a normal chip or pitch into the middle of the green and give ourselves a long putt. Probably going to take two putts but it's a safe option. This is a bit, a bit more risky but if you know how to play it, it's not that difficult. One of the key things that people get wrong with this shot is that they try and help the ball up into the air. So um, they, they tend to hang back on the right side and, and lift it. And the problem with that is that it causes them to hit the ground before the ball. So sometimes they then start to try and play the ball back in the stance because that, that moves the ball back to where the, the bottom of the arc is. But again, that then makes them, they're still hanging back, again, to hit the ground first. And it also makes them lean the shaft forward a bit too much at impact. So they haven't had time to, to get the loft back out to the ball. So I'm gonna show you some must do tips to make sure that you, you get the strike correct and to make sure that you use all the loft on the club. And the first one is that we've got to play the ball forward, just inside that left heel there. We mustn't have the ball in the middle of your stance. We set up a line, a line to the target, all right, so we don't have to open the stance too much, but we set up with the ball position to the left. And the reason for that is because it means that we can have a neutral shaft. Okay, a neutral shaft means more loft on the club face. Anything which is forward leaning in the shaft means we're taking loft off. So we're, we're, we want as much loft as possible, so we have the ball a bit further forward. We open up your left toe to get the left knee over your foot because it allows you to get your sternum more to the left. One of the misconceptions um, that people have with lob shots is that they should hang back and lift it, like I said earlier. So we actually want to get the sternum to the left because we want a downward strike, at least until we get the, the, the club bottoming out where the ball is or even slightly after. All right, we don't be hitting the ground before the ball because that's not gonna, gonna result very well. It's gonna end up in the bunker. So we get the ball a little bit to the left, open up the left toe, where you get that feeling of good, good sort of 50, 60 degree open with the left foot, left knee over your left foot, and the ball opposite the inside of the left heel. That gives us that neutral shaft, very much the same angle as the spine. Now, the last tip is a really important one because what we want to do when we hit a, hit a lob shot is we want to return the club back to neutral. All right? We don't really want to be leaning the shaft, like I said. So the thing is, if we hold it normally when we do that and we try to return the loft, the right hand can then start to, it would have to move underneath like that. And it's very awkward, to be honest, and it's unlikely to happen. It actually makes you, you want to tilt back to the, to the right. So what we actually do is we get it more in the fingers of the right hand and we weaken the right hand. So there's a V formed by your thumb and forefinger. We get the feeling that the V is up towards your, your left shoulder nearly. Okay, and the reason for that is because if we do this, then we flip the hands a bit at the bottom of the arc, the bottom of the swing, keep the loft on the clubs, so that the, the club face is pointing to the sky. But my, my wrist is cocking through the shot here. It's easy to keep the loft on the club face with a weaker right hand grip. If you're someone who holds the club a little bit strong and you keep it strong, you're gonna find this shot very, very difficult. Okay, so ball's just inside the left heel, left toe turned out, left knee over your, your left foot, sternum's to the left, fingers of the right hand, okay, so weaken the right hand grip and we, we get the feeling of the sternum being to the left. Make sure the hands are, are lower as well because you know, one thing you can do is point the club to the right, open the club face, that adds some loft. But to save the club pointing over there, we can drop the hands a bit lower. A bit like in a bunker shot, we do the same sort of thing. Okay, so what we do is we try and keep the pressure on the left foot through the shot here. All right, so we can have some wrist cock in the back. So we can keep the pressure on the left foot and then get the feeling of the right wrist, because we have the weaker right hand, cocking up in the follow through. All right, and that, that keeps that, the loft on the club and really adds the, the loft and, and gets the ball popping up. Important to keep the weight to the left because that stops it from hitting the ground. So let's have a go at this one. Okay, popped up really quickly, landed very softly, just ran out a couple of feet and it's going to save me a couple of shots. If you enjoyed that tip, don't forget to subscribe, 
tap the bell notification to get future, future tips. And don't forget to go onto my website, chrisjenkinsgolf.com, for lesson options, including remote coaching, one-to-one -one lessons, and one-day golf schools. Enjoy your golf. <laughs>